Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, please hit that, you know, like button, subscription button, notification bell. If you're a returning subscriber, hit that like button, you know. But today's video is about, somebody asked me a question is, are you nervous about radiation? Because I'm around radiation all day. And honestly, no, you know, you don't, I'm not nervous about radiation because when, when you're in radiology school and then just in general, when you go to work, they tell you the three basic principles to protect yourself from radiation, which is time, distance, and shielding. So the time, when you say time, is basically how long you are in radiation. So whenever you do, um, say you do a, a, you're in a radiology field and you're just an RT, you know, there's a thing called fluoroscopy studies. So the floral studies, and there's a, a big thing called a C arm. So it looks like a C, so it, it's a C arm, and. Um, you use that and um, operations. So when they do surgeries, it's very, very minimal radiation that you do. So say you're using a C arm, you know, and you're talking about time, how long you're in the radiation. Usually they're like, oh, I need a picture. So you just boom, press a button and that's it. Rarely they want you to continue pressing a button, which is constant radiation. And, you know, and if it is, it's probably like five seconds and you stop. So it's very, very minimal radiation that you receive as a radiology tech, and um, you shouldn't be nervous about it. You know, then you're, there's your distance. So, you know, uh, I'm sure most of you guys have been to a hospital and you had a, you know, hopefully not, but you at least had an x-ray done portably. There's a big machine and there's a button with a cord. You're supposed to stand all the way, as long as that cord reaches, which is basically like six feet, maybe more. Um, and then expose the, expose the radiation when, you know, you can wear a shield, but the distance should help. But there's styrofoam shields you can you can use. Um, there's, um, you know, regular shields. Let me show you a shield. I don't know if you can see it real quick. Let me bring it for you. So this right here is what you call, um, a shield so you put this on when you're doing your ready you know when you're doing your your, your procedures in c arm or floral this protects your thyroid so this goes around your neck protects your thyroid stand up and you do what you got to do and you're all protected then you have this which is your radiation badge this badge every three months is sent out to measure your radiation how much you're getting in the three month radius so this, you always have to, you, you have to put it by the neck collar. You put it up here, whether it's, you know, regular x-ray or, you know, you have to wear this at all times. Cause this is going to measure what, how much radiation you get on a daily basis or when you're doing procedures. So you, this thing is heavy. Have you ever had one and you ever put one on? These things are heavy. Nothing's going to get through that. Now, do you get minimal radiation? Of course, I mean, you work around radiation, so you're gonna get minimal exposure. You're not gonna get the whole exposure like you would if you didn't, you know, use anything to protect yourself. Another thing is you don't ever hold a patient whenever you're exposing. Sometimes you have those babies, you know, and the parents don't know how to hold them and you have a baby that moves around or whatever. Yes, you have to hold them, but, you wear all this, and then there's also radi um, there's also lead gloves. So you can put your gloves on and hold the baby or hold whoever or whatever you're holding, and that that helps you, you know, minimize the radiation dose. But rule of thumb: don't ever, ever, ever hold a patient. I don't care if it's a baby if you don't have to. For kids, <clears throat> you do want to try to do your best and not overexpose a baby because you don't over want overexpose anyone, but especially a baby. So if you have to sit there and hold the baby to get a good picture to know, you'd be like, look, I'm gonna get one and done and get it done, then do it, but protect yourself. And that's the distance, that's the timing, and that's the shielding. So if you do all those and, you know, the proper, using the proper way and using the proper order, you'll, all, you'll always be protected from radiation. Even when they take, even when you take a patient, say it's an outpatient, and you take a patient back to get x-rayed, you know, um, you have this big old thing. Let me see if I can, oh, I can't flip it, but I'm gonna flip it really quick so you can see. So that right there is a mirror. That, that, it, it, 
that is lead protected. So this is a CT scan. So that this thing right here doesn't let radiation come in. You know, it's protected. So that protects you. So you're always, always gonna be behind a protected barrier when you're in radiology. You know, so you're always gonna get the minimum radiology, the minimum radiation possible. Uh, so don't, you don't ever have to worry about that. Now, radiology, as far as um, general radiology, as far as x-rays and, you know, fluoro and C-arm, those are gonna be your minimal radiation doses. That's, it, it's just, you get radiation when you're outside in the sun, you know? So that's how low radiation you get. But when you're messing with this big bad boy right here in CT, that is radiation times 10. So you have to always, always protect yourself. Um, something had biopsies that you had to do on CT, you always make sure you have everything on to protect you as much as possible because you're gonna be in there with the doctor, with the radiologist doing a procedure and that's gonna take 30 minutes, it can take an hour and sometimes it's just constant radiation. 90% of the time they all step out the room and they scan and they go back in there. But like I said, the CT has a lot, a lot of radiation so you have to be super careful and always protect yourself. Don't always, don't leave that door open. You close that door, you do your scan and protect yourself as much as you can. Uh, when it comes to uh, MRI, there's no studies to, that says that MRI causes anything because MRI is all magnetic. So it's basically a big magnet when you go in there and that's how you get your images. I'm not an MRI tech, so I don't know too much about it as far as like, you know, the physics and everything behind it. Uh, but as today, as you know, to, as today, like um, there's no consequences for too much MRI magnetic so I can be wrong if I'm wrong I, I apologize leave me a comment let me know but I don't think um, for MRI you have anything to worry about only for your patients you have to make sure that they don't have no metal you have to make sure that um, there's like a little wand like when you go to um, to security check at the at the airport they scan you make sure that you don't nothing like pops out because if you do go in there for MRI and you do have a patient and they have like a pacemaker that's not compatible to MRI or they have like earrings They'll yank, it'll, yank, it'll yank it right out and it'll stick to the magnet, you know? Um, so you have to be really careful on MRI. But anyway, I hope this kind of clarified a little bit, you know, um, as far as that question, if I get nervous of radiation. Um, and they were talking about, does radiation cause cancer, blah, blah, blah. And it does, you know, if you, if, you're, if you don't protect yourself, it can. But then you ask yourself, right? It's like, it's a catch-22, you know? Because you're like, okay, well, radiation causes cancer but when you do radiation therapy it kills cancer so it's like am i doing justice by going in there and getting radiated and killing cancer cells that i have or you know am in the, you don't know it's a cash 22 right you know you ever thought about that it's a good one right i just thought about that too right it's like hold up you know you're in radiation and radiation does cause cancer if you're exposed to it too much but then at the same time, when you do radiation therapy, they're giving you radiation to kill the cancer cells or the tumor or whatever you have. Hmm. But anyway, that's the life of radiology technologists. But no, I'm not nervous about the radiation. I'm not nervous about cancer because I do everything possible to protect myself at all times. Um, and that's it, man. You know, and I hope this answers the question. I hope this can help you guys out there. And um, as always, until next time.